U.S. Customs and Border Protection is asking people who live along the U.S.-Canada border to stay alert. The agency is asking people, people to report any suspicious activity as illegal border crossings into the U.S. are on the rise right now. NBC5's Liz Streppa went to the border to get the story. Things are pretty calm here at this U.S.-Canadian border crossing in Franklin County, but Border Patrol agents say that they've had their hands full recently as illegal border crossings are skyrocketing. Welcome to Rainville Road in the town of Franklin, Vermont, where... It's quiet. Joe Rainville enjoys the peace and quiet of being next-door neighbors with Canada. Got a pretty nice view of the mountains. He and these cameras along the U.S.-Canadian border also have a pretty nice view of everything happening on the dead-end road. If there's four going by, they might catch one out of four. Rainville is talking about people like this who are caught crossing into the U.S. illegally from Canada. It's becoming an increasingly common occurrence up at U.S. Customs and Border Swanton sector where illegal crossings have more than doubled here compared to last year. When we interview a lot of the people that we catch, um, we hear stories that it's their perception that it's safer across here on the Canadian border than it is on the southern border. So, you know, what we're trying to do is get the word out that uh, they're much better off to do this um, legally. Deputy Patrol Agent in Charge Raymond Bresnahan says agents use a wide variety of technology to catch people who are entering the country illegally, including cameras, which captured an agent arresting multiple people along the northern border back in August. We catch a number of individuals from all types of demographics, uh, different age ranges, um, really. It, you name it, we've seen it up here. And they're not the only ones arrested. The U.S. State's Attorney's Office has charged several people for helping others after they've illegally crossed into the U.S. A lot of times it's the smugglers that are putting these people at risk. So we try to target these smugglers when we can identify them. And, and keep everybody as safe as possible. U.S. Customs and Border Protection is concerned about the welfare of the people making the dangerous and unlawful journey into the United States, especially with winter on the horizon, something a nearby farmer worries about too. He asked us not to show his face or use his name. A month ago, it was a Sunday morning, I believe, and there was, there was a family walking down the road a mile away. U.S. Customs and Border Protection relies on people who live near the border to report suspicious activity. We're all in my my mother and father came from Canada, so yeah. Most of the people over here are immigrants. Something Rainville keeps in mind as he watches what's going on in his neck of the woods. Border Patrol agents tell me they are doing their best to keep our northern border safe and secure, but they don't expect things to slow down anytime soon. In Franklin, Listrapa, NBC Five News. We did reach out to Vermont's congressional delegation and Governor Phil Scott for their reaction about the situation, and we have not heard back from them just yet.